After 33 Miss Court appearances, Pervez Musharraf made his way to a special court in Islamabad where he was formally indicted for treason. The five charges stem from his time in power. In 2007, there were nationwide protests after Musharraf suspended the constitution, imposed a state of emergency, and sacked several senior judges. The former president and army chief pleaded not guilty to the charges. If convicted, he faces either life in prison or a death sentence. The courts of the country had uh, indicted uh, the Pervez Musharraf, of the ex-dictator, who has proclaimed emergency on 3 November. And this is first time uh, that is very alarming that a, a dictator has to face this all the proceedings. Pakistan has been ruled by the military for more than half of its 66-year history. This is the first time a former military ruler has been indicted on charges stemming from his time in power. The treason charges also mark the latest downturn in Pervez Musharraf's fortunes. After five years of self-imposed exile, he returned to Pakistan last month to contest national elections. He was quickly barred from running and several legal cases were started. Musharraf was granted bail in all cases, but he spent more than seven months under house arrest. Musharraf appealed to the courts for permission to fly to the UAE to visit his elderly mother in hospital and to receive medical treatment for himself. But the judges refused, saying the government should decide and not the courts. Pervez Musharraf's trial for treason will likely be lengthy. If convicted, he will also be given 30 days to appeal, which means his most serious legal challenge to date is only just beginning. Impia's Daib, Al Jazeera. Islamabad.